Welcome back guys. So today we're going to be doing a, a bit of a DIY project. We're going to be creating a stir plate. So you can buy these online for about, it's about 70, 80 pounds, but very easy to make yourself. So what do you need to make a stir plate? So I've got a box. You don't have to go fancy with a, with a box like this, but I've got this quite cheap on Amazon. So here are a couple things. First thing, a fan. I'm sure that uh, you have one lying around. If not, they're very cheap to get online, a couple pounds. You're going to need some magnets. So these are just little button magnets, uh, rare earth magnets, neodymium magnets. They're very strong. So we need a couple of those. You're going to need a stir bar. Again, online you can get these quite cheap. Uh, you're going to need some wire to do some wiring inside here. We need a 12 volt wall wart, so something like this. This provides 12 volts at one amp. Should be more than enough to drive this fan. And you can get yourself some of these. So this here is just to just to be able to change the speed of the fan. So you connect the wire going in, uh, wires going in, and this here you turn it to turn it up and down. Pretty straightforward. The stir bar is essentially going to be sitting just above that inside the bottle, and the magnets are going to sit here and spin it. So this is already magnetized, and the first thing you need to do before you do anything else here is make sure you know which side is north and south on these magnets. So. If we do this, we can see that it sticks. If I, so it sticks that direction. If I move this across, you'll see that it wants to flip over. So make sure that we've got them the right way up. There we go. And just mark them. Color it in with a bit of black and the other one with red so I know when I glue it on that I'm I'm not putting them both the same way up. So there we go. You can see, mark them there. My intention, I think, is to glue this onto there and glue that one onto there. So that's the intention, and uh, and basically that should. If we have a look over there, you can see that kind of works. So let's see, we're going to glue that down. I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue or Super Glue uh, to glue those on there. And then we start doing the electrics and get the box set up. You want to try and get this evenly spaced because you don't want this wobbling when that fan is spinning. Okay, so we let that dry and let's start preparing the box. Pretty much what it'll look like. I'll have that on top. Okay, little tip here when you are using these type of things on thin wood like this, run it backwards. a much cleaner hole. Sandpaper, just smooth out those edges. So the next thing here is need to center this and put some holes in for the screws. What you 
do want to try and do is try and get that as flush as you can so that uh, anything that's sitting on top isn't going to be sitting on top of the screws. I suppose I could have countersunk this. So with this, I believe the green and the yellow, uh, the yellow and the black are what we need. So we don't need the green. So basically the negative from the power source, which is going to come in here, will go directly through this into the fan. And the positive, one end is going to go into the pentiometer and the positive from the power in is going to go to the other pin on the pentiometer and that will allow us to control the current. So we can test this now, let's make sure it works before we put it all back together. So it's been a little while since I made this. The biggest problem I had was the fact that the stir bar kept jumping off, but I fixed that because you can see here, that is the stir bar I originally bought, and this is the one I actually used. It's much smaller. Um, I mistakenly thought the bigger the stir bar, the better it is because it'll stir better and it'll stir more, but that's just not the case. The problem with the bigger stir bar is the inertia of this is going to be way too high and it spins off and it will fly off. So if we have a look, I'll show you an example. I'll use the bigger stir bar. We put that in there. We start off slow, no problem at all. As soon as you go any faster, and you see what happens, it just flies off. So let's do the same thing with the smaller stir bar. And you can see it can turn it up quite high. And it works perfectly. So I've tested this with my one gallon Demijohn and it works perfectly in there as well. So like I said, if you are having problems trying to get that stir bar to stay on, just get a smaller stir bar. The second thing I did is I added a couple more magnets to this. So basically these magnets are just on the edge. Um, so anything sitting on top here, these magnets are coming up just to the edge. But you can see adding a couple more of these button magnets actually increases the magnetism here. And it allows it to be a lot stronger, the attraction that's on here. So it definitely made it quite a big difference. So if you're having problems again with the stir bar spinning, uh, staying on, then try that as well. Try add a couple more buttons to this. Glue them on because if you don't, these things will just fly off.